Hi, this is James, and we're going to go over some tech tools. Now, um, <clears throat> when you buy a caliper, I'd like you to, to buy a good caliper. The ones at Harbor Freight or a Craftsman one, those are junk. Okay, a good caliper will read within a thousandth of an inch. The junky ones are just clunky, and I mean, they're okay for quick measurements, but a good caliper... 99% of the measurements you're going to be doing is with a caliper. Now again, if we, if we measure something with a caliper and it's out, then we'll get <clears throat> our micrometer out. A micrometer is a much more fine dialed tool. And I've checked, this micrometer is certified and I've checked it with my caliper and they're both within a half a thou of each other. Okay, so this here is a leak down tester. That's going to check piston rings and valve leakage. We're going to show you how to do that later. And then um, this is a quality torque wrench. This is probably 30 years old. When I was a kid, I bought this. This is a Craftsman one. Um, then you're going to need a set of feeler gauges. I usually have two sets. So I can do set coil spacing. Now this tool is interesting. This is how you check spring pressure. So the spring goes on the face of this and then in the vise like that. And you can see when I press on it, the needle move. I can't see in the camera so I don't know. But anyways, it moves and there's a measurement in the book for that. Here's our timing light and our little tachometer. This tool is going to check piston pop-up. And then we have some different pin gauges that already have the numbers on them and are already set to do quick, quick tech. Here's our degree wheel. Here's a big one. You can, it, the book doesn't call out big or small, but it's harder to read the numbers on a small one than it is a big one. So we like to use the big one. As you can tell, we all got glasses on because we can't see. This is what they refer to as a strap style spark plug. It has, that's what they're calling a strap right there. This is going to be our tool to measure the cam timing. And we'll get into that. And then this is, um, a drill that they used to call out in the tech manual, but some, uh, somehow that number of this drill never made it into the new tech manual. But this drill spins at 1200, and then when you switch it to number two, it turns like 3000. Your regular drill like this probably is not going to spin that fast. And then you're going to need um, a set of pin gauges. What pin gauges are is they're real fine pins. And when you measure them, it has a number on the box. And they're real fine pins in every increment. And you're checking holes and the hole size with a pin gauge. All these tools you can find online, you know, none of them are complicated to uh, find. Let's go no go gauges for the front. These I already talked about. And then um, we have these ball gauges where you can measure the inside of a hole with those as well. Okay, so what's, let's move back over to our tech bench. And we'll get this engine up on there and uh, start teching some stuff. 